guys, it's Sheena from Teton Raptor Center and I'm here to give you all this week's patient update. So let's go ahead and get started. To kick things off this week is our newest patient. This is Merlin 11-8. And for those of you that don't know, Merlins are part of the Falcon family. This bird came to us from Labarge, Wyoming with a fractured metacarpus in her right wing. She underwent surgery on the same day that she was admitted and she's now recovering in our ICU. Um, she was a little bit thin when she was ad admitted, so we're working on getting her to gain weight, but her appetite has been really good since day one, and she started eating on her own really quickly. Next up, we have Cooper's Hawk 10-9, and this juvenile bird is currently undergoing live prey testing, and this is just so that we can make sure he can hunt successfully before he goes back to the wild. Since he came in fully emaciated, we wanna make sure that as a juvenile, he can hunt successfully. You might remember that when this bird first came in to TRC, he had a skull injury, eye trauma, and head trauma. All of those injuries have been fully resolved, and the last step is live prey testing. Next is Great Horned Owl 10-5, and this bird came from Afton, Wyoming with a fractured pelvis. The healing process for her is complete, and she's actually passed live prey testing and flight conditioning, so we're planning on releasing the bird soon, but are planning to offer a couple more attempts to live prey test before release. Here we have American Kestrel 9-8, and this female came in from Rigby, Idaho with fractures in her right ulna and humerus. Right now, she's getting physical therapy about three or four times a week, and that's just to help gain full range of motion in her shoulder. And the physical therapy process can actually take some time. And so although we're seeing improvements with her flight and the way she gets around in her enclosure, we're not out of the woods yet. Moving on to our future education birds, and remember these are the birds that are non-releasable due to the injuries they've sustained. Here we have Swainson's Hawk 831, and this juvenile bird is currently being treated for bilateral wrist wounds. You can see the little bandages she's got on her wrists in the photos and videos here. And right now this bird is awaiting approval for her transfer to TRC's education program. Uh, staff are working with this bird in her enclosure to get her comfortable around people and to encourage her to start flying for food, but this is a new training process for her, so it's going to take quite some time before she's glove ready. Next up is Red-Tailed Hawk 525, and this is the adult red tail that cannot see out of his left eye 100% and he's awaiting transfer approval from the state of Wyoming to move to his new location at the Audubon Nature Center in New York. Last but not least is our adult female Golden Eagle. This is Golden Eagle 4-2, and this bird is awaiting approval from the state of Massachusetts so that she can move to her new home at the Ecotarium. Staff recently got this bird out to do a health check and a weigh-in as well as to move her into a larger enclosure and this bird weighed in at around 14.6 pounds which if you don't know that's a really big eagle all right that's all we've got for this week i hope you all enjoyed learning more about our birds and i look forward to talking with you guys next week bye